I've been writing music, um, recording and performing music, original songs, since I was 14, uh, which is half as old as I am now, even though yesterday someone outside uh, asked me if I was in high school and that, um, that felt great, thank you, but um, no. Um, <laughs> when, I was, when I was 12, I started journaling, um, and I still journal, um, but when journaling wasn't enough, I started writing poetry, nice, sweet, angsty poetry. And um, when that wasn't enough, I learned how to play guitar. And I started writing um, songs, since poetry you know, needs uh, a little more life every now and then as well. Um, I just had a lot inside me that I needed to get out, because uh, as a lot of you here tonight know, um, being a teenager is an impossible job. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> um, it's it's a lot to bear. Kind of like I, I felt like I had too much to handle on my own. Um, I had my parents' divorce. I had death in the family. Had anxiety, depression, ADD, eating disorders. I had the drama of friends, relationships, school, everything together, on just one on top of the next. It's hard. And on top of that, I was figuring out my sexuality. Um, I felt like isolated from my friends and my family, like they were living a life on one side and I was living a life on the other side. And um, I felt like living my, my truth was, was not possible and writing was the way that I could get that out of me and into a world that could possibly connect me to the people that I loved and hopefully get me to feel like I was worthy of living in their world, like I was still the type of person who was worthy of love. So when I was 14, I realized I was not straight. Um, and that is when I started writing music. Coincidence? I think not. Um, every day at school and at home felt like a lie. Like I said, I, I felt like the only way that I could express my truth was through writing, um, when I had no other way of getting it all out. I had all this energy and all this experience and, and all these hopes and dreams inside of me that I knew were going to turn into something detrimental if I didn't find a way to turn it into something positive. And I know that anyone in here who considers themselves creative in some way can, can relate to that. It's, it's, it's not a want, it's a need. Um, I, I had all this that I felt I needed to validate, that needed to be validated. Like I needed my very existence to be validated. And um, so after about a year of hiding all these secrets, in my writing, I knew that I had to get it out. I had to perform. I had to come out because it was, it was impossible to be living by myself in my own head and in my own heart. So I, I performed and I, and I came out and some of you may know, some of you may not, but doing that, putting yourself, putting your truth out into the world that, that, that raw sort of personal space. It's, it's terrifying to know that strangers or worse, loved ones can take who you are from you and reject it. The, the potential of that is terrifying. Um, for me, thankfully, I, I was not. I was, I was accepted. People didn't reject my music. They didn't reject me. They, they embraced it, and I know I'm one of the lucky ones, but even if that wasn't the case, being accepted, it, it's not the most important part. Eventually, you will learn to accept yourself, but the vulnerability is the important part. Putting yourself out there, knowing that you have a space in the world, knowing that that's your right, you have to claim that, and um, that's, that's what I learned, and, and I knew that I deserved that. Um, I know that 
not everyone in here struggles with the same things that I struggled and struggle with. Everyone has their own battles and their own victories to claim. Um, but music has always been that outlet and that therapy for me. It's what has given me the community that I have today. It's what gives me my place in the world and what connects me to everything around me. It's, it's connecting all of us right now. And I'll always be grateful for that. And so what I want everyone in here to know and, and to think about when you leave and when you look at anyone that you pass in the street or anyone that you, that you hold close to you in your life, know that you are not your hurdles, you are not your doubt, and don't ever let those things isolate you because you do have a place in the world and your existence is valid. With that being said, um, I would like to play a song for you guys. And um, there's a place at the end where I would really hope you guys will sing along with me and I'll, I'll let you know. And I just think that we, we can all connect with each other in that way. Um, so this song is dedicated to everyone in here and I want you to listen to it and dedicate it to yourself. Um, it's called Home is Where You Are. Yeah. 